Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Just got a coffee and it's so good. I'm heading to Denver for the, not for the day, it's like for two hours. I rented out a studio because today's video is in partnership with Lulu's and I have the cutest bridal stuff. If you guys are brides, you're gonna be screaming at this video. Everything will be linked down below that I mentioned, but I'm heading to Denver to go shoot some content, just like some Instagram stuff, just to get out of the house. Our house is a mess, so shooting content in our house right now is nearly impossible. So we're gonna head to Denver for the day. I wanted to start off the vlog and say hello, welcome back. Welcome if you're new, my name's Rachel. You should subscribe if you're not. We have a fun time over here. And yeah, I just got a coffee. I had to run into Staples to print some stuff. I'm gonna take this puffer off because I'm hot. For you guys a little studio I rented out and I'll link it below. Also, if you guys are like local to the area, it's super, super cute. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get on the road and I cannot wait to show you guys these pieces. They're so freaking cute. Okay, I just got to the studio, you guys. It's so cute. I will link it below if you guys are local to the Denver area. It's really cute. I just found it online, but I'm gonna get going, get some content shot. I have so many cute things from Lulu's. I'm really excited to show you guys. Cute little seating area. And then another one right there. So cute. I'm so excited to show you guys some of these dresses. I have them all here on the hanger. I'm gonna try them all on and do some like bridal looks for you guys. And they are all so, so cute. Lulu's has the best options when it comes to like anything bride related, bachelor party, um, day of wedding, they even have like really beautiful gowns, rehearsal dinner, um, cocktail dresses, and then they have a lot of stuff for bridesmaids as well. Everything that I mentioned will be linked down below. Again, I wanna thank Lulu's for sponsoring today's video, um, the best bridal stuff, and it's getting me so excited for mine and Dylan's wedding day. So I wanna start with accessories, and then I'm gonna actually try all the dresses on for you guys and show you fit size, all that quality. Good stuff, but I got so many good pairs of shoes and then clutches from Lulu's. This is so pretty. This is like a little pearl and beaded clutch. Um, I love how all of their clutches also have like really cute straps. You can like wear crossbody over the shoulder. This would be really cute for like a bachelorette trip or rehearsal dinner night. Just really cute. We have that one. And then next up, this is so stinking cute. I love how it has a little bit of color, but it's still pretty muted. It's like a pretty mob. I feel like this would be really cute for like a bridal shower. Um, if you're doing like any type of pink themed, again, this one has a strap as well. Last up, this bride clutch, which you guys have seen me use um, from Lulu's. Again, it has the chain. I use this for mine and Dylan's engagement party and I'm obsessed with it. If you guys are a bride, you need this clutch. There's a lot of room to pocket, good amount of storage in there. So you can put like your wallet, your phone, all that good stuff. So these three clutches are a must. Also picked up one pair of earrings, which I'm obsessed with. These could be, make sure they're focused. These could be a huge contender for wedding day earrings for me. I chose these because they go with my dress somewhat. I have to look at my dress again because I haven't seen it in a while, um, but these are super cute. Even if they didn't go with your dress, you could do for like rehearsal dinner or anything like that. Really cute. I love like the shape and the sparkle. They don't look cheap, but they're super affordable, which is really nice. So, so cute. Next up, you guys, I ordered so many pair of bridal shoes and I am literally screaming at how cute all of these are. I'm so excited to share. I have them all lined up. I thought I would show you guys them here first and then I'll show you which pair I choose to style with what dress. But okay, first up, I've been super into pointed toe heels. So I love these. Also, I got Ever, all these run true to size. I got a size eight in all of them. So they all are super true to size. I love the pearl detail and then I love anything that goes around the ankle and it's not too high of a heel. So this pair is so cute. Okay, next up a little bit different, but same like kind of clear pointed toe. So these have like the jewels and stuff on the toe go around the ankle as well. What I love about this option is I've recently realized like picking out bridal outfits and all that stuff that there's so many different shades of white and sometimes it's hard to match white shoe to a white dress. So a nude pair is a great option. I love how it added some sparkle. And again, super comfy. All these are really comfy. I've been trying them on because I'm so excited about all of them. Okay, next up, you guys are gonna freak about these. In a recent vlog, I believe, I showed the Jimmy Choo shoes that I got for my 
wedding, but I found the best dupe because I know that pair is super pricey. These are much more on the affordable side and look at this bow on them, you guys. They're not pointed toe, so they show like your little toes, which is cute. I know not everyone's a fan of pointed toe, but I thought that these were like a must. I had to include them and show you guys because how stinking cute. This pair to me just screams like, elegant old hollywood like really romantic i love these i might wear these for my bridal shower in april i'm obsessed with them it's like a champagne i love the pearls my wedding dress has some pearls on it so i just am always really drawn to pearls i think these are super super cute again just like a mule style and super comfy best for last i feel like these are so cute they're like a velvet tannish cream color great for if you don't have like the exact white shoe they have a ton of rhinestones on the little wrap around they wrap around your ankle like so i'll show all of these to you guys on my feet but i just wanted to go through them quickly these are so cute so comfy definitely coming with me on my bachelorette trip i'm obsessed with these but honestly you guys like all of these shoes like how can you not be obsessed with them all they're so cute and then i have these four dresses right here i'm gonna start with I have this jumper right here that I'm really excited about. So I'll show you guys this on. I ordered smalls in all of these. I've already tried them on at home, but I will say that the jumper, I need a medium because I'm taller, but I will still show you guys anyways. It's super cute. Full body mirror right here. So you guys can see it is a little bit short, but it's still so, so cute. Some people might prefer it like that, honestly. So maybe if you don't want it all the way down size to your normal size, but I just think it's so cute, really snatches you in. I feel like it's really flattering. And then here are the bow shoes on, which I think are so stinking cute. So here's look number one. This would be really great for like a rehearsal dinner, bridal shower, bridal brunch in, you know, all the good bride stuff. Just a really flattering, like elegant dress. I feel like this will age well. So like in years, you won't look back and be like, what the hell was I wearing on my rehearsal dinner or whatever event you would wear this for. I'm obsessed. I have it paired with these like clear pointed toe heels you guys these are probably my favorite heels out of all of them you have to run and get them they're so good but like this whole little outfit together with a clutch let me grab one yeah like how cute would this be walking into your rehearsal dinner everyone would be like oh my god who's that the bride <laughs> longer this would be beautiful as like literally a gown if you're having more of a relaxed wedding like a more low key um or if you're having like a really fancy this would be really pretty for like cocktail hour um reception dress rehearsal bridal shower really cute it's more of a like creamy it's not a full white it's like a champagne but really good coverage on the chest if you're like heavier chested this would be really good option for you i have it paired with the same earrings and then it goes down i love like the cut i would think i could probably do an extra small i think a small is a little big right here on me but the bottom is my favorite part it has like a little little train situation and then i have it paired with these really cute pointed mules that i just showed you guys but how like stunning like falling over i feel like this is so stunning especially if you're taller this is like a great option i love this i think that this dress might be my favorite i feel like it's so flattering i love like it's a really pretty nice crepe material and i feel like it's just very very elegant i have like shapewear on underneath this and i feel like it just snatches you in perfect i'm wearing a size small again i probably could have gone to an extra small to like look really snatched in but super cute long to the ground again i'm 5'9 for reference and this fits me perfect i have it with these heels which are so good but i would probably wear with the clear pointed toe pearl ones i just wanted to show you guys these on because they're really cute but i'm obsessed you guys this dress is so good i'm wearing a small like i've said good for this is more formal i feel like so i'm obsessed with this you guys that's everything that i got from lulu's from their little bridal section on their website you guys i'm obsessed they have so much good stuff check out their shoes i have now a million white pairs of heels that i'm all obsessed with so i will have everything that i talked about linked down below also i'll put my size for size reference but thank you again lulu's for sponsoring today's video i've had so much fun this studio is so cute i also shot like some other looks and things like that but i'm about to pack up and get out of here Back in the car that was so fun i feel like i need to start doing that more it just makes me feel more creative and like just more inspired to do content for you guys than just like the same old same old 
and I feel like there's so many cool like studios especially now that will be in Nashville I feel like there'll be probably so many but anyways it's 2 30 now I was just there for two hours doing stuff and now I'm hungry and I know I know there's a bar taco around here but I don't know if I'm close because I'm in a part of Denver that yeah I'm 15 minutes I'm like is it worth it I would be going by myself I don't know I don't know if I'm, in, I'm feeling that. And then like parking and stuff. I might just go home and get Chipotle. That sounds good. <laughs> Chipotle sounds like a nice little date to myself. I also have to make it to FedEx before they close. And tomorrow's Sunday. So that was fun. Now we're going to head home. Okay, I have like 40 minute drive. Again, this studio, I'll link it below. It was so cute. And I like could shoot in there for hours. I feel like it was so fun. So, bye. Guys, it's so windy out today going into Chipotle. I'm so hungry. Home. I'm going to my little table that I've been sitting on the floor. I've been sitting right here. And I've been eating. So I'm going to eat my Chipotle by myself. <laughs> if you missed anything, I'm moving to Nashville. I'm so excited. And Dylan is gone. I back home he brought Winnie with when he's at Emily's house he's in Epcot right now for his bachelor trip and then he'll be going to Vanderbilt on Monday and I'm currently filming this on a Saturday I'll put the date here for you guys because I know our life right now is all over the place but I just got Chipotle I'm so hungry and what I get I get the bowl and I get is it focused chicken rice black beans corn pico sour cream lettuce and guac and then I get chips and I kind of like dip the chips and it's so good. I'm so hungry, so I'm gonna eat this. Morning, you guys. It's the next morning. I just woke up packing up some clothes to bring to Dylan. I leave tomorrow for the airport to go to Nashville. Well, I'm going to Atlanta first to see Carson for two days, and then I go to Nashville to get the keys to our new place. So Dylan needed clothes for work and stuff that he that we forgot to bring. I had all of these packed in garbage bags and I just had to rip them all apart because we forgot to put them in his truck when he left and then I needed to get into them and I couldn't see with the garbage bag so I literally decided to unpack everything that I had already packed but it's fine. Um, clothes for him for work for the next few weeks until the pod gets dropped in Nashville and then um, hack if you guys are ever moving take the clothes and leave them on hangers and just like go like this and wrap them in trash bags so then when you get to your new place I guess it's not really a hack I feel like everyone knows that but once you get to your new place you just literally rip the garbage bag open and put them all in the closet it saves so much time that's what's going on I'm still in my pajamas I'm about to get dressed and go like run and get a coffee and get some errands done my last day here for a while um, if you guys missed it, I've already said it a million times, but we're moving to Nashville and I'm so excited. So the plan is I fly out tomorrow morning, super early. Tomorrow is Monday and I go to Sarah and Ben's house in Atlanta for two days till Wednesday. And then we get the keys to our new place Wednesday and I'm going to be in Nashville for like a week and a half. And then I'll come back to Colorado. I'm going to be getting my hair, hair done, all that good stuff, prepping for the bachelorette trip flying out of Denver to the bachelorette trip. When I get back from the bachelorette trip, the pod gets dropped. All of our stuff's getting packed up. I have movers coming. And then we're off to Nashville for good. So I'm so excited. I also picked up the camera really quick because I wanted to show you guys this shirt that I literally wear all the time. I have like the matching boy shorts, but I'm still wearing Christmas pajamas because it's all I have. Um, but this shirt just restocked in all sizes and colors. It's from Skims. It's their boyfriend collection. It's one of my favorites. The Fits Everybody's collection and the Boyfriend's collection from Skims are my two go-to. They're literally the best. And these just restocked. I actually ordered in like white, black, and a brown last night. So they're like staples. I live in these. I sleep in them every night. Wear them around the house. I've I'm sure you guys see this shirt on me all the time. So I just want to let you know they're restocked. I will link it in the description because it's been a while since they've restocked. So, but they're so comfy. I wear a size large and I wear a medium in their boy shorts. Okay, first thing, we're getting a coffee. Cold brew with a little extra ice with two pumps white mocha and vanilla cream cold foam. All right, what else are we doing? That's it. 378 for you. Thank you. I think every time I come here, my drink goes up in price. I think I was talking about this last vlog. 
thought it was like 6.15 and now it's 6.78. Next thing we're gonna be at 10 bucks. What the hell? Hi, how you doing? Hi, right? good, how are you? Good, thank you. So it was a 6.78. Do you need your receipt today, Rachel? I'm okay, All thank right, you. Thank you, you too. Thank you. Okay, there's still so much um, ice and just like piles of snow everywhere. It's like funny, it makes me laugh because literally half the parking lots here are take like parking spaces are literally taken up. Sorry, the sledding is horrid. Um, literally taken up with snow piles because there's so much snow. We love that. We love the snow, you guys. Everyone literally shits on me for complaining about the snow and I'm like, that'd be like you shitting on someone for complaining that they hate the sun. It's like, let, let people do say and do what they want. I'm gonna get a car wash, I'm gonna rinse my car um, because the car washes have been actually closed like the past few days because it's been so like just kind of below freezing. <laughs> is this camera focusing? No. But today on the agenda is coffee, coffee. <laughs> um, and then we've got car wash, which we're waiting in line for right now. And then we've got, I'm gonna run to Sephora. There's a few things that I wanna pick up. I'm gonna see if they're in stock because they were on TikTok. So you guys all know the drill with that. It's like when anything gets posted on TikTok, it's immediately gone for literally ever. So there's a few things I wanna do there. And then we have to go home. I need to clean out the fridge. I want to pack up my bathroom and get rid of a ton of garbage and stuff because the garbage will come while I'm gone and I just wanna get a bin of garbage out. So I feel like, when you move this is what i've realized with moving and let me know if you guys if you've moved if you've realized this when we're packing up to move it's like to the new place i don't want to bring anything that isn't like i don't want to bring junk i want to bring what we need I, I don't want to clutter up the new place like i just want it to be very organized very minimal i'm trying to live like a more minimal lifestyle it's hard but i'm trying and i don't want to bring just a bunch of junk to the new place to have it moved all the way back across the country and then it to just end up being thrown away so is this focused? I don't know you guys, I'm sorry if it isn't. I think it is. What I've been doing is literally decluttering. I sold so many clothes on Poshmark. I actually just sent the rest of them out last night. That's kind of why I stopped vlogging. And then um, we've just been, like we've done like three trips to the dump, like 10 trips to Goodwill. Like, and I just can't believe how much like shit and clutter that we had piled up in this house. I'm like, I, I felt like our place was organized and I had a clean space and, felt decluttered and stuff and now that i'm packing up i'm like oh my god we had so much stuff that was just unneeded unnecessary like we don't need all this stuff to like live a fine happy life like i've realized that stuff doesn't make you feel any better honestly it just makes me feel worse so i've been trying to like tone it down when it comes to stuff and it is hard because like my job is to show you guys stuff and I get sent stuff and like talk about products and brands and all that so it's really fun but like at the end of the day I need to realize like I do not need all this stuff because it's just so unnecessary <laughs> say hi to the vlog I'm sending pictures of my dog to everybody Jenny's getting a dog hey, you guys vlog, I just got a puppy tell them what kind wait what kind is it again oh, I forget God. I got a cockapoo, so it is a mix between a cocker spaniel and a poodle, aka you can call it a spoodle, apparently <laughs> Australia, and she was born uh, February 5th, so she's a day old, and she's so cute. She and is cute. Gigi. Now, I, after Gigi Hadid, I just like the name Gigi. I'm excited because when Jenny gets her dog is the weekend of the bridal shower. Do you get her on the day of the bridal shower or are you going to get her before or after it? I get her the day before April 1st. Oh, so we'll have to go get her. Sephora haul. I got a few things. I've been just chilling at the house. And I'm gonna put you guys on this tripod. I just heated up my Chipotle. I had leftovers. I never finished my whole entire bowl. I feel like 
it's nearly impossible for me to eat my whole thing unless I'm like super super hungry so I just finished that for lunch I was watching Jess's and Brent's staycation vlog and then what else have I been doing that's really it oh I just filmed some stories you guys I I'm working with prime student which is like through Amazon on Instagram and I put together like this beach bag not sponsored by Amazon but I am working with them over on Instagram and I put together the cutest stuff and honestly I just want to like show you what's in it right now so maybe we could just do like a little this is like I put together like the perfect beach bag and I'm working with them over on Instagram I know you guys are probably like Rachel you're not a student but my I still have a prime student membership so I went to college I'm, I was a student this beach bag which I love so simple I have like a really kind of like does not kind of it is a designer beach canvas bag but it always gets so dirty and sometimes I don't want to bring it in the sand so this was like 20 bucks so cute great quality I got a really cute black and white striped towel I'm gonna bring this with me on the bachelorette trip and then film cameras I feel like this is essential if you guys are a college student I also wanted to work with them over on Instagram because I figured a lot of you guys who follow me are still in school and I wanted to like show you like what I would bring on my college spring break. So I would definitely get some of these. I've actually never had a film camera so I'm so excited. I'm going to bring these on my bachelorette trip. Sunbum 30. This is the best sunscreen. Um, and then I also just discovered that my favorite sunscreen that I put on my face every day, the Elta MD, has a lip balm which my lips always get so sunburned in the sun. So this might be a game changer. Let's try it for the first time. Oh yeah, that's good and it's minty. Water resistant for 80 minutes and it's SPF 36. This is game changer, you guys. I don't know how I'm just finding out about this, but I will link all these products below. They're also linked on my Amazon storefront. And then I also lastly got this new water bottle. You guys, that just made my lips white. I just realized that after I looked in the viewfinder. Wait, I might need to wipe that off. <laughs> just for the sake of me filming this, since I'm not outside, but anyways. Drinking glass, which I have all the porter mugs. I love this, it's a glass, and I love like the screw cap. I feel like it's always nice to bring a water bottle on like a beach trip. Sometimes it's just like, you don't wanna keep buying water bottle after water bottle, or you need somewhere to put like your cocktail or something like that, so I thought this was really cute for that. I know spring break and stuff is coming up for a lot of you guys, so that's so exciting. And the snow's melting, so it's like dripping everywhere. Um, Yeah, so that's like my little, key beach bag items i would definitely like put a hat in there as well i just forgot to do that um but sephora i got four things and i want to thumbnail okay i want to show you so i watched um danielle carolyn's vlog with makeup by kellyanne you guys know i always talk about her when i saw they hung out i was like oh my gosh i have to watch they did like a makeup haul and it was so fun and cute so i got some of the items that they well only two of them because two were sold out but i'm really excited i've been trying to experiment with makeup because i'm thinking about doing my own wedding makeup so we'll see but i last night ordered the dibs beauty um i got the recommendation from julia havens the bronzer and blush like duo stick in the shade two i'll link it below for you guys it's like a cream bronzer and blush so my glasses are so dirty Sometimes I like wear my I'm like in a glasses mood my glasses are like really low prescription But I was just staring at the computer for so long and I was like my eyes are hurting So these are prescription glasses from Costco But my blue light glasses that I wear the clear frame ones are from Warby Parker So just so you guys know but anyways, um, so I got this Sephora 64 brush and it's basically just for foundation But I'm gonna use it for my cream like contour and I've been seeing so many people talk about this brush and they finally had it in stock. So I'm really, really excited to use this. I'll link all these for you guys. Um, and then this I'm so excited about. I couldn't find it in the store so I asked for help. And of course I feel like when I walk around Sephora, it's like I look everywhere for what I'm looking for and I can't find it. And then I'll finally be like, okay, whatever. I'm just going to ask a worker if they have it. So then I'll ask and they lead me right to it. And I'm like, I literally walked past that area 50 times. How did I not see it? And that was the case with this. So it's the, I think it's Say, Say Glowy Super Gel. And I got it in shade Star Glow. And this you can use as like a highlight. That's how Danielle and Makeup by Kellyanne. I keep calling her Makeup by Kellyanne, but like her name's just Kelly. So like, <laughs> why am I doing that? But um, really cute packaging, like glass packaging. But I'm thinking of the lady at Sephora said that you added in to uh, 
your moisturizer if you're doing like a no makeup look, which I do a lot because I just basically wear moisturizer, concealer, and it's really, really light. And she said when it hits the sun, let's see, it's just like a dewy, can't really like tell, but like off camera, but it's really, really pretty. Maybe we could put some on. Can you guys tell? Probably not. Anyways, I'm going to try this out when I do my makeup next and see how I like it. I really like how it smells and how it applies. So cute. Okay, so those are like the two makeup-y things I got. I wanted to get a... Um, now I'm forgetting the name. It's like a really... Oh, P Pat McGrath lip gloss. They were sold out of all of them. And then they're also sold out of the Dior lip gel. Lip gels. As you can tell, I'm like clearly not good with makeup, but I'm trying. But okay, and then I restocked on the necessary stuff. I got the body wash and the eucalyptus. This is my favorite, along with the fur body wash, which I get off of Revolve. And then I also like the fresh one, but I'll link this one. It's really good. And then I get the unscented fragrance free body lotion. So I'm just going to leave these in the package and pack them to head to Nashville for our shower in Nashville because I'm just going to use up the stuff that I have left here. But I wanted to make sure we had some good stuff. Well, Dylan doesn't use this. I, I use it. At least I hope he doesn't use it because I feel like boys just waste products. Like, I need to ask him if he uses my products in the shower because I don't think he does, though. <laughs> Anyways, um, okay, so that's what we've got going on. Next up on the to-do list, we're having a productive Sunday here. I have to pack up my clothes. I'm going to check two bags. I had so many Delta points, you guys, from flying a lot that I... Um, in flying first class home because I had so many points that I just literally got a first class flight for free So that's really nice and it comes with two checked bags for free So I'm really excited about that I'm gonna get two big suitcases and pack them full of clothes that I can leave in Nashville so we can like slowly but surely start getting our stuff there because There is clearly stuff everywhere at the moment. So I'm gonna pack Dylan's stuff I'm gonna pack two bags of clothes for me and then I'm gonna be there for like a week and a half so it's like I need a good bit of clothes anyways and then um I need to like clean out the fridge and do all that since I'm gonna be gone for a while so nothing really fun over here just keeping it real this is just what moving's like and it's hard because I feel like whenever I watch like moving vlogs of people moving and stuff it's like oh they pack up their house they move and it's like over with and I feel like for me it's so drug out because it's like we find out and then we literally find out and then Dylan has to leave so soon and then I'm stuck here packing up and finding a sublease ending our lease finding a new lease like all this stuff because as of right now we just rent we don't own a home thank god we do not own this home because I would have to be trying to sell it right now and that would be a mess so our lease ends february 28th and our landlord here is being so nice and letting us stay till march 10th um she's doing like a prorated rate for march so we're just paying like one third of the month which will be so nice and then our lease in february starts february 9th our lease in february our lease in nashville starts february 9th and so we'll just overlap like one month of rent which kind of blows but gotta do what you gotta do so that's that that's why you guys are probably like all confused and like rachel why are you dragging out this move and it's like i'm literally not trying to at all i actually want to be there so bad but that's just how it goes i already have my flight from denver um to my bachelorette trip so i have to come back here and then the pod and everything was already scheduled for march so that's just how it's going down and if that requires like dylan and i being apart for a little bit then that's just how it has to go so that's that um i'm gonna I think I'm going to go through the bathroom drawers right now and get rid of product that is just like expired, like empty. There's so many things there that I should have gone through like months ago and I just keep putting it off. So that's what we're going to do right now. I feel like you might be able to see like the glow. Like I literally have nothing on my face except um, the... What is, what is my moisturizer called? Why am I forgetting? You guys know. What is my moisturizer called? Oh, First Aid Beauty, I think. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> I need to go look. I'm confused. But I really, really love that thing I just bought. That say thing. I'm going to link it. It was 25 bucks for a really big thing of it. And I feel like it's going to last me forever. I'm huge into like glowy skin. And I feel like I'm going to love that for summer and the wedding and all that. So cute. I'm so excited because I just put everything out of the drawers. I have half of a huge garbage bag full of just stuff that was sitting in the drawers. And I'm like mad at myself that I didn't do this earlier. But... 
I hope this inspires you to like go through your drawers and just like clean out junk but basically this is all my skincare that I have extras of or that I haven't tried out yet all my extra face sunscreens are in here this is like just some random stuff serums more skincare I have literally so much skincare and then this is all just extra makeup um, some hair stuff some stuff I don't need for the next few weeks and then I realized I have a perfume problem so I think I'm gonna leave this one out because I don't want it to get all smashed up so I'll probably put this like in a special bag that goes in my car with me not in the moving truck but I did keep everything out that I need for like the bachelorette trip and things coming up I'm um, like my makeup and my everyday hair stuff so this is just like extra that I don't use a ton minus the perfumes so I'm so excited all of that is all done and it's literally all fits in one box which is so nice hey do you remember 20 something years